Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regards to graphing linear equations. Last time, we have uploaded a video wherein we discuss how to graph a linear equation using the x and y intercepts. So you can see the link here of that video and I will put it here. And today, guys, our topic today is all about graphing linear equations in two variables using the slope and the y intercept. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here, guys, the slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So guys, this form is another way to represent an equation wherein you can easily identify the value of the slope and the y-intercept. In this case, or in this form, your m is the slope. Letter b is your y-intercept. So the reason why I introduced to you this kind of formation or this kind of form is that uh, we will be having an example wherein we are given an equation and we will determine the value of the slope and the y-intercept. By the way, uh, let us define first or let me give you a short review about the slope. Slope is about the steepness of a line, whether it is positive or negative. Another is you adding b, which is the y-intercept. It is the point where the graph of the linear equation intersect with the y-axis. That's why it is called as the y-intercept. Now, let's graph the following using slope and y-intercept. And we have here item number 1, which is the given slope and y-intercept. Same with item number 2 and number 3. Number 2. And for number 3, we're given an equation. Let's start with number 1. Graph the linear equation with the slope of 2 or m is equal to 2 and the y-intercept is 4. So if this is the case, guys, you need to recall that your slope, you can represent the slope using the rise over run. Therefore, if you have the slope of m is equal to 2, that is also equal to 2 over 1. We will use that information again. We will use this information, again, your m is equal to 2 over 1, wherein your numerator is your rise, your denominator is the run. And next, as for the y-intercept, which is 4, the coordinates of this point are 0, 4. So we can start graphing the linear equation which, which contains this kind of information. First, let us start with the y-intercept. Okay? The y-intercept is along the y-axis from 0, since this is positive, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is your y-intercept, 0, 4. And now, we can define or we can draw a straight line using two points. Sir, how are we going to use or how are we going to find the second point? We will use the slope to locate the second point. So to use the slope in locating the second point, for us to draw a straight line, we will use the rise. From this number or from this point, we will move two units, one and two. That is the rise. As for the run, since this is positive, it's either you will move left or right. Since this is positive, you will move going to the right. So one unit to the right, and here it is. This is our second point. We're in, as you can see, we have located the second point. And we are now able to draw a straight line. This is the graph of the linear equation with the slope of 2 and the y-intercept of 4. Now let's move on with item number 2. In item number 2, we are given negative 3 as your slope and negative 2 as your y-intercept. So we will recall that your slope is also equal to rise over 1, 
wherein your negative 3 can be represented as 3 over 1. And as for your y-intercept, this is negative 2. The coordinates are 0, comma, negative 2. Again, we will start with the y-intercept. Since this is negative, it is along the lower part of the y-axis. So we have here, here is negative 2, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. We have here, 0, negative 2. And now, for us to locate the second point, we will use the slope, which is negative 3 over 1. Remember, this is rise over run. Your rise is equal to negative 3. That's why from this point, we will move. Again, if that is negative, your rise is negative, you will move downwards. You will move 3 units, 1, and one, 2, and 3, and your run is equal to 1. That is positive. You will move here 1 unit. And we are done locating the second point. Now we are able to draw a straight line. So we are done with the second example. Now let's move on with the third one. We are given the equation 2x plus y is equal to 6. Now, sir, uh, we are not given yet the value of slope and the y-intercept. That's why we will transform that equation into this form y is equal to mx plus b. Because if, you're, if we are able to transform that equation to this form, we can easily identify the value of slope and the y-intercept, which are needed to graph the linear equation. So to transform this one in slope-intercept form, all you need to do is to eliminate this 2x on the left side and put it here on the right side, but it will change. So what you will do is you will subtract both sides of the equation by negative 2. So you have negative 2x or 2x, negative, uh, negative 2x, sorry, uh, copy, 2x minus 2x plus y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. What we do here is we subtracted 2x both sides of the equation. So simplifying this, 2x minus 2x is simply 0. That's why we only have y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. As you can see, in this kind of form, we are now able to find the value of slope in the y-intercept. In this form, the slope is equal to negative 2, in which when we transform this into rise over run, that is equivalent to negative 2 over 1. And as for the y-intercept, your y-intercept is 6. So, ah, sorry, this is b. So, the coordinates are 0, 6. So I hope that we have pattern natin on how to find the value of slope simply by transforming the equation in slope-intercept form. Now we're able to graph this. We have, we have to start with 0, 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Here's the first point. And as for the second point, we need to use the information or the slope. Your rise is negative 2. Remember. So you will move 2 units downward. 1, 2. And since your run, which is 1, is positive, you will move here 1 unit. And this is the location of the second point. Now, we will be able to graph the linear equation using two points. And we can draw a straight line where in, in the last part, you need to put the label here. You need to write the whole equation, the original equation, which is 2x plus y is equal to 6, signifying that that is the graph of that given equation. So, you know, guys, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to graph linear equations using slope and the y-intercept. So, if you have any question or any requested topic that you wanted to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!